I'm all packed up for another trip on in safari. This time I'm going off the island and I'm going to be gone for almost a month. We'll see where I go. There's lots of heat waves happening out there and forest fires. So we'll see how far I get. I'm going to first visit my friend Tess in, well, in Richmond. We'll see where we go for the weekend. And um, I made some changes in safari. I took the seat out. I, I bought a thermo, thermoelectric cooler. It's not a fridge. It doesn't have a compressor in it, so I honestly don't know how well it'll work. But I insulated it and I have uh, I, some ice I'll put in the bottom in a container. Try to, I'll try to help it along as far as um, keeping it cool. Which reminds me, I've got the car started and I haven't even plugged it in. Should give it a try. There it is. I still have to get ice for it. I still got stuff to put in it from my other cooler from Big Big Blue. But that's my gone no seat. No seat, so I got extra storage. Got an extra box down there. Somewhere was right beside me as I'm driving to put stuff. Because there just wasn't enough room in there. Yeah. Exciting times.
size. I am a senior. Pardon me? ID. ID. 1956. Oh, just yeah. Just yeah, just a week ago. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going for what the 1215? For 1215? Yeah. 45. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, 20 you said? Okay. Right. See ya. What I do when I don't have my cooler on, I put wool, there's two wool blankets over it. And hopefully that'll help. In my last video, I um, showed my inner box, storage box, but I changed it. Guess what this is, and I, I bungeed it on. This is my old toilet from when I had, because I changed out my toilet. Oh, you can't really see it. I got a dollar store. Marie, if you're looking at this, I got your same toilet. Marie, can't really see it. I've got all kinds of stuff back there, but it's a dollar store pail with a round top on it like a kind of a curvy kind of a top on top of that is um, a pool noodle cut to fit around works fine with just all the usual bags and my pail my pea pail <laughs> does fit inside barely but it works I have used it. Having lunch here in the ferry. On the ferry. I am in the ferry. I'm under the roof. I have a roof over me. Or a ceiling. But as you can see, I never got onto an outside lane, which would have been nice. But I do have some breeze coming through now that I can open up. Now that the car alarm stopped. Once again, we're still looking for the driver of a gray Volvo, license 798XWB. Please immediately return to your vehicle to attend to your alarm. It is disturbing passengers around you. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I've heard about, I don't know, eight of them now. Around me too, that one must be on a different deck. I was driving to the ferry just now I was debating about whether to mention this on YouTube at this point <clears throat> but I'm pretty sure I'm going to sell Safari yeah and whoop, <laughs> and fix up Big Blue for travel this the Big Blue needs new tires it needs a spare tire so I have to get a whole mechanism probably set up on the back door on the back frame for the spare tire get all the jacks and wrenches and stuff that go with you know changing a tire I have changed many many tires in the past but not for 20 years or so, so but I, but I know the concept of changing a tire but big blue tires are so much bigger and I'm 20 years older so there you go but yeah, I've got, yeah, just get Big Blue roll ready because I do want to do off-road stuff. And I will be 
a little bit restricted what I can do because off-road and safari was wonderful that I've done this spring already because I can go through tiny spaces that a taller vehicle would have had trouble with especially with my solar panel and my bucket in the back you don't want to rip those things off but I can still do it a certain amount as much as I probably want to yeah get big blue ready Big Blue's been, been really good to me for quite a while now. Haven't had any breakdowns or anything. But it's a 27-year-old van, so things will happen eventually. Ah. Uh, yeah. Selling Safari. <laughs> I've really loved having Safari. I love the innovativeness and the creativity of setting up a van and I may want to do it again sometime we'll see you know will it my son willing to help me and we come across a good deal again like Safari was yeah I put a lot Safari's in really really good running shape right now really good there isn't anything pending that I know about ah uh, yeah selling my travel van uh, and it runs I love driving safari it feels so good on the road <laughs>